Yo, yo, <laughs> praise God, yo, 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 yo
an experience out of Airsoft. I've been playing Airsoft for about 12 or so years now. I was playing before I was even in high school and we were playing with like, you know, Springer shotguns and all that good stuff, but slowly evolved to what you see here today. And I've kind of been through the paces from everything from Springers, Clearsoft Springers, to CO2 Clearsoft guns, to high-end HPA rifles, to gas blowback rifles. And I gotta say, this has given me the best experience out on the field. It is, is it the ultimate weapon for annihilating noobs and taking out crowds of people and getting the best kill streaks on camera? No, but when you do that, man, is it rewarding. And I think a lot of this has the same kind of feeling as why people use bolt action sniper rifles. The whole one shot, one kill thing is just rewarding. Yes, you might be working away for 15 minutes before you hit one person, but when you do, man, that's gotta be rewarding. And every sniper I've talked to, that's why they say they do it. That's honestly a big part of why I enjoy this. When I am using this out on the field, it's heavy. It's bulky, it's chunky. The mags feel so real when I do a reload. The bolt locks back and makes a beautiful noise. And I know immediately I'm out of ammo. Instead of taking five or six shots and being like, oh, I think I'm out of ammo now. Time to reload with my 200 round magazine. It's just such a unique experience. I've also been getting really into one taps and making my shots more accurate. I've only got 30 rounds in this mag and I've only got 40 rounds in the MP7 mags. So you kind of have to make every shot count. And the key word is don't miss. But I've also gotten a lot better at target identification because of that. Waiting until you know that that's a person that you need to be shooting at before you're shooting at them and things like that. With my HPA guns and even my high-end AUGs, man, I was just so trigger happy. I'm, I'm sorry, but if you're taking 50 rounds to hit one person, you got an issue. And going into GBBRs, I thought, you know, I was gonna struggle a lot in terms of mag capacity, um, carrying all the weight. Like these mags weigh a butt ton, dude. They're kind of fragile and they're expensive, but they feel so good. Like, just listen to this, the metal on metal, like, ah, it just sounds so good. I think I can speak for a lot of people that when we got into Airsoft, we were wanting realism and chasing that realism factor. Yes, AEGs and HPA rifles can kind of be that, and they are definitely more effective weapons out on the field. When you're shooting through heavy brush and things like that, yeah, you know, these probably aren't the best bet because you've only got 30 rounds. But I think a lot of people underestimate these things and just the potential that they bring. It, it's, just, it's just a unique way of playing it. Again, it's like a bolt action rifle. Are there some drawbacks? 100%. Are there some pros? 100%. Same with HPA, same with AEGs. There's just, there's pros and cons to everything. Same thing with the MP7. I've been a big fan of MP7s for years, played with them in a lot of video games, and now I feel like I've literally got one. It doesn't just, you know, take a battery and I can see wires in here and all sorts of goofy stuff. It's just, it just, it feels so real. The mags have some heft to it. The gun's got some heft to it. Can hit the bolt release like normal. Selector switch feels amazing. When you're shooting too, just the sensation of shooting. Both of these guns kick pretty stinking hard, man. This is the only MP7 with a full travel bolt, so it's like kind of the hardest kicking MP7 on the market, which is a big reason why I got it. And really the only recoil you're getting is from the bolt traveling back, but it's a big heavy metal bolt, and it does a good job of convincing you that there is something that you're actually shooting out of the gun. There's some feedback, there's some response. You feel deadly out on the field every time you're pulling that trigger. It feels like you're you know, putting someone down every time, you're, you're accountable for that. It feels like there's a weight and attention to every trigger pull. And I know it sounds like I'm being very dramatic here, but that's honestly the way I feel. I feel just so deadly every time I pull the trigger with this thing because it's just bop and it's just loud, obnoxious, and oh, it just feels so good. 
Also, for some reason, I feel like a lot of people don't think GBBRs are accurate. And that's kind of the expectation I had going into it as well. I thought there was gonna have to be a lot that I would have to do in terms of barrel and hop up rubbers. Now I've also got Tokyo Marui's. They're both completely stock. That's another thing we gotta talk about is I haven't upgraded any of these things and they perform amazing. But in terms of accuracy, they're great. I don't know, I can't speak for any other GBBR companies out there. Maybe they aren't that accurate, but at least the Tokyo Marui's uh, blow my mind in terms of how accurate they are right out of the box. And these things only shoot like 325 FPS or something. Um, so yeah, pretty solid. But yeah, in terms of upgrading too, uh, I haven't done anything to these guns. We've talked about this before on the channel, but I'm kind of tired of upgrading guns. Um, it seems like you get a gun, you upgrade it because something's not working right how you want it and then you just end up breaking something else in the process. You fix one issue and cause another. And that's just very much my relationship with upgrades. When a gun's bone stock, I don't know. It seems like there's less that can go wrong. <laughs> and I'm sure I will run into issues at some point. I know these things are notorious for uh, people saying, you know, they need to be run on duster gas and that sort of thing because they're made in Japan. Um, so you'll probably blow up the nozzle spring. Nozzle spring's 20 bucks. I don't care. I'm used to blowing an electrical contact on my trigger and I need to go buy a $200 MOSFET. I can buy five nozzle springs and have them for the rest of my life. And I'm sure there will be other things that happen down the road, but I keep these things super lubricated. Shout out to Waldo Customs, that lube, Papa bless ya. And I haven't run into any issues yet. Now I am still a, uh, you know, GBBR noob. Maybe I'll make a video in two years from now going, do not buy a GBBR, they blow up. But from what I've seen out on the internet, if you'd like the play style that they provide, you kind of can't go wrong. And I am a big fan of the play style that they provide. So yeah, we will have lots more GBBR content coming to the channel, different talks, different reviews. I really want to review both of these guns, but I feel like I got to wait a bit longer just to get some more mileage on them and uh, let you guys know my thoughts um, in terms of maintenance and if stuff breaks. Um, I feel like we're at the stage now with the MP7 where something could happen and uh, there's been enough mileage on it now that something could break, but we have yet for that to happen. I've got some spare parts ready to go just in case that does happen. Um, but yeah, kind of part of the hobby I feel like with GBBRs and Airsoft in general is looking after your guns. That's a big part of the hobby, I think. Um, and I enjoy taking these guns apart, maintaining them, taking out all the springs, lubricating them. That's I, just something I enjoy. So if that's not something you enjoy, then probably not a, uh, a, a group of guns to get into either. But yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video, you guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed this little talk. If you guys have any recommendations, suggestions, comments, concerns, down in the comments below is a great place to talk about those things. And of course, don't forget to check out our sponsor, Total Recoil Airsoft's YouTube channel. And uh, yeah, send them some love and we will see you in the next one. Peace guys.